What is going on, Lead Gym Beast? Matty Ice here from Leads for Locals. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build and create a really awesome lead magnet PDF inside of Canva uh, using one of their many, many templates. Uh, they make it super easy. Uh, in addition to that, I'm also going to show you something uh, a little bit more advanced that you can do with your uh, lead magnet PDF. Uh, like instead of just sending them a PD, uh, your prospects uh, a PDF document, um, you can actually send them to a web page that contains and, and has your lead magnet embedded right onto the page inside of your funnel. It's actually how I like to do it, but I'm going to show you both ways. Uh, we're going to cover what makes a really good lead magnet as well, because obviously you want to make sure that you're creating a lead magnet that um, provides high value, has a high impact, and positions you as the authority, and it makes uh, it makes your prospects want to do business with you, right? So make sure you stick to the end because uh, I have some really good stuff in this video. Uh, having a lead magnet in your business is one of the most important things, uh, in my opinion, because it's what uh, attracts. Uh, it's an easy way to attract people into your business. So um, as always, though, uh, if you don't mind, please, uh, if you find the video helpful, smash that like button. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Check out the links in the description. I always have some really good uh, stuff for you guys there. Uh, make sure you join the Facebook group, all that good stuff. All right. So the first thing I want to start with actually is. Let's talk about what makes a really good lead magnet, uh, because th this kind of sets the foundation for what you're going to create inside of Canva, right? You want to have a game plan for what your lead magnet is going to be about, um, who it's going to speak to, things like that, right? Now, uh, this is just what I do in my in my agency. So uh, any type of lead magnet that I create, um, nine times out of ten, I always have it for a very specific audience. For example, uh, for my SaaS product right now, uh, it's called Elite Broker. And it's a marketing CRM specifically for business loan brokers, right? So I have a lead magnet right now that is a free business loan lead generation masterclass. And it's it's right in the name. It's specifically about business loans. So the more uh, niche down and targeted you can get when you're creating your lead magnet and just the audience in general that you're going after, uh, the more impact it's going to have, the better uh, your lead magnet is going to do, the more desirable it will be. Uh, it should solve a very specific problem or teach something very specific. Again, going back to my example of the uh, the business loan lead generation masterclass. I'm starting with lead generation, even though you know my my SaaS product provides a lot of other different things other than just lead generation. That's the entry point, right? So you want to think about the the best possible entry point for your specific uh, audience. And then, you know, later on when they sign up for your product or service, you can bring all these other things in and, and talk about those if, if you want. But you want to start with one specific problem or teach something very specific. And that comes down to knowing the, the biggest problems of your, uh, that your audience has. So you need to know what that is. And that's how you, you kind of const you basically construct your lead magnet uh, uh, around that. All right. And it should contain three to five main bullet points or subtopics of uh, what you're teaching here. All right, I'll give you an example uh, outside of, or a different one. A different example is uh, anytime I create a lead magnet for like Facebook ads, right? And I'm sharing my Facebook ads formula. There's usually three main bullet points that I'll talk about. So the lead magnet will be about how to generate leads using Facebook ads or something along those lines. Uh, and then, you know, specifically for whatever industry. Okay. But then I'll break down my, like the, like just the main bullet points of what I do to generate leads using Facebook ads for that particular industry. And it, it'll come down to the actual Facebook ad itself, which is the ad creative, the targeting, the, uh, you know, the ad copy, the lead form, right? So I'll talk with, you know, one or I'll do like one or two, maybe three sentences on that. And then uh, the second one would be the, the funnel. And then the third uh, bullet point or subtopic would be the follow-up, right? So you're basically just sharing your, your formula, kind of like a 30,000 foot overview of your formula, uh, your process, you know, however, whatever it is that you do to solve the problem that your lead magnet is, is talking about, you break that down into three to five uh, bullet points or subtopics, right? Um, it, it works really well. Uh, it should showcase your product or service as well, guys, uh, ideally anyways. Uh, you know, it's great to, to teach people uh, as, a, as an entry point and things like that. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, you're in business, you want to get clients. That's the point of a lead magnet. So you want to try your best. I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult, really. But uh, you want to try your best to sprinkle your product throughout the, the lead magnet. Like, for example, in my business loan lead generation masterclass, I'm there's there's multiple times in that masterclass that I show people elite broker, like how elite broker makes what I'm teaching 
very easy for them to implement in their business, right? So uh, you want to talk like when you're talking about like, uh, for example, if we go back to the Facebook ads example, uh, what we do here for out like uh, for the the first part of the, uh, the Facebook ad campaign where we're talking about the uh, ad creatives, the targeting, you, you can you can break down your process like here at XYZ agency or whatever your business is, we create these types of images and videos or whatever so that you know it makes it really easy for you guys to get started blah 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 something like that right so it should showcase your product or service uh have call to actions throughout the 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 lead magnet i'm going to show you how to do that uh inside of canva as well as when we take the uh, the lead magnet put it on a web page and then also i i wanted to throw this in on um it's kind of like a side note to use as uh, inspiration. So maybe if you're getting uh, just getting started and you're trying to figure out, okay, what should I create my lead magnet about? You know, should it be, you know, uh, about Google My Business? Should it be about reputation management? Should like use uh, all of the features that Go High Level gives you and create a lead magnet around that. Like, do you have a system? Like, are you really good with the Google My Business um, Go High Level feature? Well, create a lead magnet around that. How can your target audience use Google My Business uh, with, uh, with this type of feature, something like that. Right. So this, uh, the, the goal high level features can give you a really good inspiration about what to create your lead magnets, uh, about as well. So just wanted to throw that in on the side. Now let's actually get into how do we, how do we create the lead magnet itself? Now that we know that like we we've gone through these, these steps here for, uh, you know, creating the foundation for, uh, what we want our lead magnet to be, how do we actually create it? So I have a template pulled up here in Canva and actually I'm, I'm going to go back to the homepage. And all I did here, so let's uh, let's go back to, uh, I'll just kind of start from scratch here. Here's the thing, guys, is I don't ever recommend creating anything from scratch. Like you don't want to go in, create a blank design. Like it's just not, it's, it's just, for me, it's not a good expenditure of time because Canva has so many awesome templates that you can use. It, this, this software is just amazing. I absolutely love Canva. It's only 13 bucks a month. They have a free version, but I, I highly recommend you upgrade. All right. Now, if we go into the search uh, box here and just type in professional presentation or presentation, whatever, this is what you're looking for right here. Professional presentation, 1920 by uh, 1080 pixel. All right. So if we click that, it is now going to bring up uh, just a ton of templates that you can use. And here's the thing, guys. One is not better than the other. Don't don't overcomplicate this. Like, uh, you know, try like where you're trying to find the absolute perfect design or whatnot. It should maybe match your brand colors or whatever. But just go through a couple of these here really quick. If you if you hover over them, it'll kind of start going through the slideshow so you can see what's inside of these. And all, all we're doing is we're finding a template that we like. And then all you're going to do is customize it to your lead magnet. That is it. That's literally all you're going to do. So the one I found here, uh, if we scroll down, honestly, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I don't even know if I'll <laughs> spend the time trying to find it again. We can just use a different one. Um, so I'll do, I want to, yeah, okay, yeah. So I want, I want to get one with, um, with photos. But, um, anyways, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna use the one that I, that, that I have pulled up here. But, um, it's so easy to customize this, guys. You, you can literally just keep the template as it is. And of course, uh, you know, you, you don't like, th like this one has, what is it? 25, like 26 pages. You do not have to create a 26 page PDF. Um, obviously do what is necessary, but you can uh, uh, just hover over these three little dots. You can delete these, uh, you can duplicate the page. So actually, if you wanna have more than, tw if you need more than 26 pages, you can duplicate these pages as well. Uh, you can also click over here to add, uh, add additional pages, right? But basically all we're going to do here is uh, so let me show you some basics on like you know customizing the text and, and changing the images and things like that all right um so if we all, all we have to do is click inside of the uh the the text box here and we're going to do I'll, I'll just stick with the facebook ads example how to generate leads using facebook ads and actually i could get more specific how to generate business loan leads since that's my industry using Facebook, uh, Facebook ads. And maybe up here at the top, you put buy leads for locals. All right, next page. Oops, didn't mean to do that. So we'll delete that. All right, uh, next page. Now you're gonna do, uh, you know, maybe the, uh, like an overview right here, right? So 
we we get rid of this. So just overview. I, I don't like the the, the vertical uh, text. Uh, I, I like just get rid of those. All right, and then maybe you, you write a, a short paragraph here about just the overall strategy, right? And you can adjust this here, make it a little bit wider if you want, totally up to you. And then uh, what I uh, also wanna show you is like changing up the images. Maybe some of the images don't really do anything for your specific uh, business. You can always change these images. Uh, if we go to photos and we type it, <clears throat> excuse me, let's type in Facebook. All right, since uh, we're talking about Facebook ads, you know, they have plenty of, of uh, images here that we can use. And we just uh, we just line it up. All right, let's uh, position it to the back. Let's get rid of these. Uh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's hit the back button or undo. All right, there we go. Uh, that's uh, not a very good uh, layout, but you get the point. All right, so just find an image that, eh, that's a little better. Find an image that works for you. The other thing, though, that I want to show you guys is the call to action part here. OK, so you, you can figure out the design. It's like Canva is really easy to use uh, as far as customizing their templates. Those are just some of the basics. What I want to show you guys is how to embed or, or not embed, how to put links and stuff inside uh, and like buttons and, and stuff inside of your PDF that people can actually click when they download the PDF. Because again, we want to have multiple calls to action that go to our uh, info page or sales page or appointment page, whatever your next step is for uh, uh, within your own funnel. So all we're going to do is, uh, so what I, I, I like to create buttons. Let me just show you how to create a button here really quick. We go to elements and then we're going to find lines and shapes. We're going to click on the square here. And let's just say we want to turn this part, this piece of text, whoops, this piece of text right here into a button. So we're going to line it up. Let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay. Line it up. Not as easy as I thought it'd be. There we go. Okay. And then from there, uh, we're going to click on the, uh, we're going to highlight the text here and then we'll click the three little dots up top. We're going to click the URL or the, the link feature right here. And now all you're going to do is type in your, your info page or whatever page you want to send them to. Uh, I'm just going to do my primary elite broker page. So elitebrokercrm.com, hit enter and boom, you just put basically you just created a button a clickable button inside of your pdf and what you do from here is you click the again the three little dots up at the top right we're going to click download and you're going to get an option to do uh, to download it as a pdf standard you go ahead and download it and watch this uh, so i'm going to download this really quick i'm going to open this up i'm going to click the button and now instead of just having like text and images and you know obviously a really good looking pdf it's really professional whatnot but there's now um, buttons that your prospects can click inside of your PDF document that take them to your sales pages or your appointment pages, survey pages, whatever it is, right? So they can, uh, so as we scroll down here and I click this, boom, takes them right to my page. That's pretty sweet, man. Uh, so that, that's, that, that's one of the things that uh, I see a lot of people miss inside of their lead magnets. Uh, th anyway, this is just how I do it. I, I, you know, one way is not, better than another, I suppose, but having calls to action in your lead magnet just makes sense to me. Now, the last thing I want to show you guys is kind of the, the next step of this. Uh, instead of just sending people a PDF, which you can do, in fact, I recommend doing both. Send people the PDF document that they can download and, and do what I'm about to show you. We can now take our, uh, so we've downloaded the PDF. We can now, uh, so let's click the three little dots again. See where it says embed? We're going to click that, click embed, and then we're just going to grab this HTML embed code. We're going to copy that. We're going to head over to go high level and I'm going to go to my funnel. Oops. One of my funnels and uh, let's see, let's go to elite broker. All right. I think I already have a test page. Yeah. So you just uh, create a new, uh, a new page inside of your funnel. All right. And let's go ahead and open this up. Now, you don't, I wouldn't say to get too crazy with this page, because really what we're trying to do is just deliver the, uh, the lead magnets that your prospect uh, has requested. We don't want to go too crazy here, 
but there's a couple things we can do. The first thing you want to do is obviously add your section and, and whatnot. Um, and then the element that we want. So we click on elements, add element. We want custom HTML. That's what you want. All right. That's what's right here. All right. And we open uh, the code editor. You paste that embed code in, click save. All right. So I already have mine in here. And then let's, uh, so let's make sure it's saved. And now let's preview it. And now your lead magnet is going to be displayed on a web page inside of your funnel. Can't tell you how powerful that is. It's really, really cool. All right. Now, there's a couple of other things that you can do here. Uh, so I, I had a different, uh, I, I was testing this with a different uh, template earlier. So that's why it doesn't match. But it's uh, the, the same thing here, right? So that they can now uh, basically go through the slideshow presentation here. Now, a couple of other things you want to do, though, if you're if uh, when you do something like this, we're going to add another element. At the very least, I would say you want to have your logo at the top. So let's move that up above the lead magnets. All right. So we're going to click image. We're going to insert. Uh, we'll just find a, uh, one of the logos here that I use. All right. Double click. It's going to insert. And then below that, maybe you also have a button. So in addition to having the calls to actions uh, inside of your um, uh, inside of your lead magnet, you can also add a button below it uh, and actually above it too. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, where, what am I missing here? Where's the button? There it is. Jeez. Uh, and now what we can do is so we'll click the button, click here to you know book your strategy call or demo call or you know request your custom plan whatever it is right and and you can now you can literally just link this to a, a step inside of your funnel and it go it'll go right to that page it'll go to your sales funnel all right uh, so it's really really cool another uh let me show you something really quick too because it's kind of a big like if we look at this this is kind of a big lead magnet they're probably not going to see the button below this though a lot of people will scroll down and they'll see it but uh, we, uh another thing we can do is add a two column row here whoops I want that above there we go at the top and we can take our logo right here and then we can move the button next to it right so now everything is above the fold so now let's save this and preview it now boom so you have your logo and a call to action button above the fold, above the actual lead magnet. So that the, you know, this is one of the first, well, this is the first thing that they see, right? And uh, you, you always want to make sure that you have your lead or not your lead magnet, um, your call to action link or button or whatever, somewhere visible as soon as they get on the page, if at all possible. Right. Um, so that's pretty much it guys. I don't want this video to be too much longer, but this is how I, I create my lead magnets. Um, you know, I have like master classes and stuff that I do, but all the master classes that I create, I nine times out of 10, I use these Canva templates in order to do it. Uh, I'm, and I'm definitely going to be adding, uh, some like different PDFs, uh, as lead magnets into my business as well. In addition to the, the masterclass, you know, maybe they can download the presentation or something like that, right? It's just, uh, something else that I can give my prospects. So really powerful guys. Uh, I leave it to your imagination to, you know, design the page or whatnot. Uh, from there, all you're doing is emailing the PDF and the link and you're good to go. You've got a, you, you have an awesome lead magnet. So. Uh, what do you guys think about this? I, I think this is really cool. I, I just, I absolutely love Canva for this. They make it so easy to create really powerful marketing assets in our business. So what do you guys think? Leave a comment down below with any feedback or questions. If you want me to do uh, like dive into this any deeper or whatever, right? Just let me know. Uh, smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Join the Facebook group. Hope you guys are crushing it and I will talk to you in the next one. Peace.